quick brief statement, and then uh, we'll take some questions. Um, one question, one follow up sort of thing. And uh, we'll try to get you guys out of here as quickly as possible because we have to find. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for coming here on such short notice. Today's Supreme Court decision is great news for Alberta. It's great news for Canada, and it's great news for an industry that's been struggling to get its product to international markets. It was a real slap down of one province that was trying to block a project that has been determined to be in the national interests. It was a clear and decisive decision that sets out a clear message to governments, to all governments, that they need to stay in their own lane. We have a constitution that sets out a division of powers that works and all jurisdictions need to be respecting it. So today was a victory for Alberta. It was a victory for the men and women who work in the oil and gas sector. And it's really a victory for all of Canada because the world needs more energy. The demand for oil and gas is growing across the world and there is no country in the world that is better positioned to meet that growing demand. So today was a very good day for all of Albertans. So I'm happy to take your questions. Well, actually, the Supreme Court today was, I, I'm frankly quite surprised at how quick the Supreme Court was to get to this decision. It was only being argued, oral arguments before the Supreme Court. That is a really quick, decisive uh, action from the Supreme Court. And I think that reflects on how serious the matter is and how frustrated Canada and Canadians and the court is with jurisdictions and provinces trying to block projects that are in the national interest. So it's actually quite quick in terms of court cases to get to a decision. And the great thing about this is that it takes away a lot of uncertainty. It removes a block, it moves, removes an impediment to Trans Mountain Project proceeding. It's one of the last hurdles left and one of the last op uh, object, last things that will delay the project. So we're, we're looking very much forward to getting the project built. Is this a powerful signal to investors? This is a very powerful signal to investors. What investors need is certainty. And had the, the BC government won in this, in this case, what that would have allowed is different sets of regulations across every province in the country to regulate the flow of oil in a, in a federally regulated pipeline. The kind of uncertainty that would create would be pretty, a pretty big obstacle to get over. So this will bring back predictability and certainty. It, it's a clear signal that the Constitution needs to be respected. What other challenges are left? What other challenges? Are there other challenges? Well, I think uh, one, the one thing on Trans Mountain is very, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's under construction now. Um, it's, it's putting pipe in the ground, it's going forward. I think we've, we've seen a clear commitment to it by the federal government to see it through, to get it built. I know Alberta's committed to it. It's got support of indigenous groups, almost unanimous support of indigenous groups, and one of the very last uh, court hurdles has been cleared. So I'm very, very optimistic that this project will go ahead. Of course, we're not going to celebrate until there's oil flowing through it, but I think this was, today was a huge win for, uh, for Alberta and for all of Canada. Any other questions? Uh, just, sorry, what, is the, what is the next step uh, in, the, in the battle to get this project uh, in the ground? Well, the next ste step is it just has to be built. It has to be under construction. There's a few more, uh, for a few more uh, court, uh, court cases to clear. I think uh, those, those court cases are being rehashed and some of the duty to consult. I think the federal government has taken every possible step to meet that duty, to meet that constitutional duty, and I expect uh, that, the, uh, that those, those cases will be dismissed too. So it just, needs to be, uh, it just needs to be built, and we're looking forward to that. Great. Thank you, everyone. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you.